What is the motivation that makes you do your job? Welcome, good day and hello to Silent Time, the opportunity to think on what is really important in life. For your job, for your profession, what is the motivation that makes you do it, that keeps you going? Is it just to get the salary or is there a deeper ground behind? As a Christian, we have the mentality not only to serve the employer or to serve the customer just to get the salary or not because the employer is a good person or a good company or an evil company. Rather, there is also additionally something else. There is also God's word that says, that calls us to obedience, both the employers and also the employees in the past, the slaves and the masters. In Ephesians 6, verse 5 to 9, by that time there were the slaves and the masters. Nowadays one could replace employees, employers, or whatever job might be there, freelancers or gardeners, maids. It can also be, it might even be classified in rich and poor. By that time, slaves and masters, slaves, obey your human masters with fear and trembling and do it with a sincere heart as though you were serving Christ. Do this not only when they are watching you because you want to gain their approval, but with all your heart to do what God wants as slaves of Christ. Do you work as slaves cheerfully as though you serve the Lord and not merely human beings? Remember that the Lord will reward each of us, whether slave or free, for the good work we do. And then also verse 9, masters, nowadays one could say employers or millionaires or whatever, Behave in the same way towards your slaves and stop using threats. Remember that you and your slaves belong to the same master in heaven who judges everyone by the same standard. Lord, we praise your holy name and we ask for forgiveness where in whatever function we are, whether we are on the employed side or on the employer side, whether we are on the poor side or on the rich side, in whatever situation we are, we fall short to serve you, to serve you as the God. We do not have the pure heart that we should have. And so many times we have only short-term motivations. We have greed and envy and we think that other persons are better off. We envy them and we are not honest as we should be. We pray that you clarify our heart, that you fill us with your Holy Spirit and make us as you want us to be, to work and obey to you in this world and in eternity, and we will praise your holy name forever. Amen.